McDonald's not backward and coming forward, so it would have been interesting, that one. North Melbourne at home on the MCG against St Kilda under lights as we go into round five of competition and Jones beats Mossop as the Saints go from right to left but Jimmy Cracker boots it from left to right for North Melbourne. Carbone playing for a free and taking it a long way, North Melbourne's way and then giving it away to German. Larkin, Larkin it was, Arsiri but under pressure, kicking poorly, and the ever-reliable former Carlton man, Peter McConville, kicks nicely to his former Carlton teammate, Jones, and another former Carlton man in Sheldon, who let it go, and it's taken away by Owen. Carlton players everywhere, down towards that full forward zone, and McCann is beaten by Lockett, and Lockett left foot snap, just off direction, one behind. Well, he outstrengthed Stephen McCann that time, and that'll be the battle, Bernie, I think. Strength against strength. Did he outstrength him or push him in the back? Or did he push well, him? Well, he had the better position. I think McCann may have ended up a little bit under the ball. Lockett did hold his ground, and I think he was entitled to do that. Yes, I think the replay bears that out perfectly. As Ross Smith marks the kick in, goes towards the wing. Bit of pushing from Jones, but a good mark from the big fellow. Not paid. Perhaps the umpire was just as, as surprised as I was. Steele out wide and well taken German, covering lots of territory. Disciplined effectively for uh, poor form early in the season and dropped after round one. He's come back and is starting to show his best. Up to half forward. Oh, fine mark. Smith, the high flyer who took that screamer down at Geelong. The best mark of the season so far on Easter Saturday. Up to Stevenson, well spoiled. And out of trouble for the Saints is Coglin. Hasn't delivered well, Crocker. All pressure, high tackle, Demetrio's free kick. Outside kicking range, about 60 metres from goal. And it was Wow Jones who crashed and he drives it downfield. In front was Phil Cracker, behind McConville, and has booted over the line out of bounds on the ball. And the free kick will go to North Melbourne. Trotting in to pick up the ball, there's some, some kill, but it's North Melbourne in the person of Ian Fairley. He's got a lovely pair of hands playing at centre half forward. Very cute angle on the boundary line. Boots it down towards that goal square. Up goes Wow Jones and straight to Phil Cracker. And that was a gift. And Phil Cracker puts through a left foot goal. And the first goal goes to North Melbourne. Well, what an absolute gift, Danny. Yes, yeah, poor defence by the St Kilda player. I think it was Elphinston that went up there. He uh, went for the mark and really he should have just thumped it through the goals and made sure it was a behind. Or was it Wow Jones? No, it was Wow Jones. But uh, Wow was an experienced player and I thought he would have made a better job of it than he did. Well, he missed such an easy mark. That was his criminal one. And then, of course, down it came nobody scouting, which he wasn't to know, I guess. Centre square infringement. Out the centre bounce and killed his free kick. And Big Wow, chance to make amends. But they're finishing. Their use of the ball is very poor. They've given it away already about six times in this match in three minutes. Steal out to Holt and half back for North Melbourne. And it was this that Daryl Baldock complained about after their loss uh, last round. Well taken by Fairley. Law a long way upfield. Crawley, typical crashing stuff. German, third kick, not terribly effective. Stevenson, Demetrio, second goal, North Melbourne. It looks dangerous for the Saints even this early. As three and a half minutes in, North Melbourne have kicked two, and they have got them with ease. Bernie have often said it, but they maximise their opportunities, North Melbourne, don't they? They do, that's exactly right, Doug. And uh, Tim called it correctly before when he said how uh, easily St Kilda are giving up a possession. When they win a hard possession, they give it away straight back to North Melbourne. And North Melbourne don't waste their opportunities, they make the most of it, and they've kicked two quick goals comes John Mossop up against Jones. Mossop wins it very, very well. Plays on, throws foot to ball but doesn't do anything with it. Hand pass comes out and Owen. Owen gets away from Mossop. Steadies and left foots it very poorly. Out into open territory at Lockett. Will he get a good bounce? He does. Looks to hand pass. Long one goes across. Down comes Coglin. Coglin's pass is dropped at the last moment. Law comes in very strongly. Coglin meets him. Pushed down by Mark Hu and Law Looks for the free kick, but I think the umpire will bounce it. It'll be in the centre half forward zone with some kills up in the top. The umpires Forster and Dorr. St Kilda, 35 metres from goal. 
Sheldon the hand pass. Corkamilis, high tackle, looks for the free kick, doesn't get it. First contact certainly was over the shoulder, but the umpire are judging that uh, it wasn't really an impeding tackle, just a touch. Now, Steele shepherding out Sheldon there. Well done, Mossop, but then lost it. Winmar, Marku. Now Winmar, well done to snap the ball out of all that and kick a goal. A beauty. My word, this fellow's got some promise from Western Australia. Nicky Winmar is a player hopefully you're going to see plenty more of. That was a great snap, Bernie, under a lot of pressure. I'm sure you would have admired that. Yes, he's a good player, Winmar. I haven't seen a lot of him, but what I have seen has been most impressive. A little bit of fortune is the way it bounced, but still fortune favours the fair and the brave. There's the brave in Mossop. Out wide to Demetrio. Demetrio then boots them downfield. Underneath it, the chance is here for Phil Cracker again. Takes it out towards brother Jimmy. Jimmy of the lightning one outfield. Uh, Siri then left puts it down towards the goal square, but it's off direction through for one behind. 2-1, plays 1-1. North Melbourne leading by a goal after just over six minutes. Jimmy Phil Cracker. Uh, Siri again, same combination as a moment ago. Oh, I thought he might have picked that off the grass. But no. It's rule to mark. And uh, Siri will have another shot at goal. Well inside range, but the angle obviously very tight. Good looking kick. Fine kick by our Siri. North Melbourne's third goal. Beautifully done by the little fellow. And the North fans like it, especially the little ones who are about his size, as the Kangaroos get their third goal and lead by 12 points. And who set that up again, Tim? It was one of the crackers. I can't tell them apart. Was it Phil or Jim? Phil. I'm not too sure. Phil. Yep. And uh, he was under heaps of pressure, but he made sure that he got it to a teammate, as he always does. Nice up. Owen comes charging through. Dunn Larkin. Larkin to Holt. Holt onto his right foot. Kicks it very long. McConville couldn't take it. Passed him. But he's a very good kick, John Holt. He's one of the best left foot footers I've seen, but that right foot was a long one too. This is John Collins playing against his old club, North Melbourne. Witty from behind. There's Winmar. Brilliant smother by Ross Smith. He looks as though he's got the job on the talented former South Fremantle youngster. And that was great endeavour. And Ross Smith shows plenty of that. He's a good stout defender for North. Here comes two stout fellas. Jones wins it. Coughlin to Whitman. Out wide. Marku. Nicely done to Nixon. Nixon long outfield. Down it goes from Cracker, from um, uh, Sheldon recognise him in his new colours Stuart Lowe looks for a free kick it's not to him it'll be taken by Rod Owen Rod Owen's on the 50 metre mark Steve McCann looking at Lockett all the time it's a prodigious kick straight through the centre that was at least 60 metres when it landed 65 metres and young Rod Owen who's had a long slow progress since he made his debut at about 16 years of age I think he played about 20 games in four years but looking very much a regular and very much a star of the future. Great goal, Bernie. Yeah, magnificent kick, Duck. He kicked it from the 50 metre mark. In the first place, his teammates told him to get it down there quickly because uh, Lockett was one out with, um, who is it, his Steve, Steve McCann. McCann. But, uh, he got onto it a little bit better than he thought. He may have surprised himself. Back to the action. Crush in the centre. And finally, uh, Smith boots north into attack. Sean Smith, oh, what a great mark. That's Rice, back pocket for some Kilda. Out wide to the wing, Marku under a hard ball. Demetrio making the spoil. And an awful one for Alex Marku to stand under. A man who's copped his share of punishment over the years, more than his share in fact. Remember those matches for Carlton against Essendon. He always seemed to be the first target and the first hit. A bit of nostalgia from Carlton support there. Downfield towards the half forward line. Low punches on very well, looking for Winmar. McCann decides he'll push it over the line out of bounds. Not the slightest doubt he did it deliberately, but no other options was the umpire's interpretation. That'll be thrown in with St Kilda in attack. And 
the Saints contesting well. Trailing by seven points. 20 plays 13 after 10 minutes. Low, front position. Crocker, oh, jumped in too high by Sheldon. Clear free kick and now advantage. Steele, Jimmy Cracker, board of halfback. Nice floating handball for the running man Holt to run onto. Schimmelbush first touch. Good tackle by Nixon. Wins the free kick. And well played by another former Carlton man for St Kilda. No advantage this time, the ball coming back. And he's quite a talented young player. This is Ricky Nixon. Just behind the centre line. Goes long to half forward to give those high flyers the chance. Low in the middle of it all, no chance. Demetrio covering lots of territory. From the centre line. Oh, well delivered for Smith again, who's doing well. Just outside 50 metres. This will be his third kick. For Stevenson. Put a man in front, a man behind. And a throw in coming out of the ball. 11 minutes down, North Melbourne 20, the Saints 13. Well, the surprising part is young Sean Smith has been put at centre half forward. His opponent is Elphingston. Big assignment for the young fellow, and he's done it very well. Wow Jones gets it down. McConville across. Into trouble it goes. Mark Coo, an awkward one. Nixon in trouble. So was Corkamilis. Nixon out to Mark Coo, and Mark Coo threw his legs at Wentley. Fights under the long headed man. The long haired man, not the long hair, but maybe a long head as well as long hair. It will be bounced. He hasn't had it cut since he left Carlton, I'm sure of that. Can't afford it. Lamb and Jobling, the interchanges for St Kilda. And waiting the call from the dock. 12 minutes gone, north deep in attack. Larkin, finessed beautifully. And a lovely left-hander to Demetrio. Well tackled though. Larkin again. Another left-hander to Jimmy Cracker from a long way. Crawley. And a behind is the result. It was off direction and probably touched. But my word, with those ungainly kicking styles, they deliver at long distances. Crawley out looking for Rice. Rice marks beautifully, second very good one. Plays on cleverly to Winmar. Winmar an awkward bounce, kicked away by Law. Out wide it comes up, well picked up by Holt. Holt then in a flash out towards Larkin, out to the half forward flank. It'll bounce over the boundary line, I think it will. And it's out of bounds before Fairley can bring it back into play. And they're still in attack of the Northerners on the grandstand half forward flank. I can't understand why they're going so wide. They should be playing more direct. 12 and a half minutes gone. Jones wins beautifully. Great ruck work. McConville, uh, rather Marcoux, forced to take it over the line under pressure. But uh, what finesse from Big Wow, who's not really known as a palmer. And he put that right down the rover's throat. Let's see if he can repeat the dose. There's the mighty tattoos on the big bulging arms. Over it goes, well, German. German kicks it downfield, racing for it as Elphingston. On the boundary line, but stays in play cleverly, McConville. Back it goes to Elphingston. Steadies and kicks it out wide, looking for Rice again. Rice pursued by Phil Cracker. Rice does it well, then taken away by the Magic Man. He's tackled when never in possession, and will take the free kick. No, it's not rewarded. Free kicks are very hard to earn in season 1987. It's out of bounds. Jones and Mossop again. Adam Jones, German. Oh, Smith, the high leaper. Phil Cracker with consummate skill. Holt, beautifully done, and a great chance, fairly, from the angle. He's missed. And one printed away by North Melbourne. The setup was so good that it really deserved better, and Ian Fairley didn't deliver. The margin, nine points. Once again, it's Collins. Long lead by Winmar. Over the back it goes away from Smith. Picked up by Larkin. Larkin out. It's going to be fumbled here a bit. Picked up by German eventually. Down towards Arsiri. Arsiri gets a very awkward high bounce. And over the line it goes. And it's out of bounds. And the punch is by David Whitton. So a bit of a standoff for the last four or five minutes. Little happening. North doing all the attacking but not quite able to penetrate. How long can the Saints hold them out? Fairly in ruck this time, but Jones beautifully to Nixon. Well clear of the pack, gave him an easy kick, and he still didn't deliver it well. Dwyer, bad bounce, Carbone. Well played, holding position, now losing it. Law. 
Grant got the hand pass off. Elphinstone, another poor kick. Uh, Siri. Smith in front. Jim Cracker. Danger here. Some killed up. Free kick. Yes. Cracker's free kick. 25 metres out, almost straight in front. And the moment he swooped, it was almost certain that uh, North were going to achieve something out of it all. Full of threat. Haven't played those before, Tim, have they? Fifth I think it was on. It was on. Fifth possession, Jim Cracker. They rarely miss these for the boys from the west. It looked as if it went close to the goalpost, but it wobbled its way through for North Melbourne's fourth. Jim Cracker's first, Phil has one also, and the Kangaroos are leading by 15 points. And really, how do you stop the Crackers? They're in everything. Every forward move that's uh, been tonight, the Crackers have been behind the move, and now Daryl Bullock's got the problem of trying to curtail their activities, and uh, it's not easy to do. I doubt whether there's ever been anyone like them, Bernie. Those two, they're quite extraordinary. They don't get a huge amount of possessions. But everything they do is absolutely perfect in disposal. Look at Wow coming charging at Mossop. Demetrio can't pick it up. Larkin out to steal. Arsiri once again. Cracker again. Phil Cracker lightning across. Here it comes from Sean Smith. His kick is a bad one. Racing towards it is Collins, but it beats him over the lines out of bounds. Well, that was a little bit hasty by the newcomer, young Sean Smith, out of bounds. There's a fine-looking young Australian. Spot of Buchanan Tartan, that one, Douglas. I bought one of those when I was over in Edinburgh for the games last year. So I know it well. Warren Jones. German. Three around him. Won the kick. Now Collins from Jones. Rice in trouble. Good tackle from behind Phil Cracker. Corkamilis in support and beautifully delivered. Finds Nixon. Swinging left hand pass to Collins. Penalised for holding the ball. Good tackle, Demetrio. And for John Collins against his first club, North Melbourne. 15 metres as well. And Demetrio now within range. That's a good tackle. Yeah, perfect tackle by Demetrio. And that's a bad penalty to give away. So close to go. Or not so close initially, but now bringing Demetrio to well within range. Four kick from his eighth possession. And the mark paid to Jones, a doubtful one. Certainly had first hands, but whether he really brought the ball down, debatable. Yes, whether he's in possession, he juggled it a lot. Oh, danger to McConville. Very dangerous. Out of it through Elphingston. Look out, you've been caught poorly by Cracker. Picked up by Arsiri. Left foot snaps it for Garland, puts it through. Oh, they paid for their mistake that time. Beautiful kick and just just made it but that folly of hand passing in that last line of defence was caught out that time and well picked our theory but to Owen who's kicked one and gets his second and well done the Saints but to Owen who's kicked one and gets his second and well done the Saints each time North have looked like kicking away they've shown the tenacity to get back and the margin back to a bridgeable 15 points at the 19 minute mark and that just shows how important it is to get the ball out of the middle and have first use of the ball. I think St Kilda have only had it down their forward line about three times and they've kicked the three goals. As Alex Marcou got the hand pass across, he's been a magnificent hand passer in his new home at St Kilda, topping that segment statistically. He's had three for this term. Kilda got the chance once again through Nixon, overruns it, put out wide towards the flank. Still their chance. Corkamilis out wide, Shimmer Bush, Shimmel Bush. Might have taken a free kick that time, he will. A late tackle. Winmar was the offender. And Demetrio, he put it back to captain. The record holder, 301 games, yeah, most of any North player. He deserved that one, Doug. He was thrown down after he got rid of the ball. Sean Smith misses what he might have taken. Collins back, look out, Corkamilis. Uh, by uh, uh, Dimitri, I should say, and that's a lovely mark. The little man again. What a wonderful pair of hands this man's got. He's one who's had to battle because of his short stature, and yet he handles the ball beautifully. Takes a surprising number of marks. He completely outpointed Collins that time. As Dimitrio's left footer came down, comes in to kick for his third goal. Not bad for the third for the first quarter, and he's done it. Tremendous start for North Melbourne. 
produce and our series done it again you wonder how he ever can take a mark the size of him but uh, he really positions himself well and he can take the ones over his head as well Andrew Jobling is about to get a job on the field Arthur Collins will be John Collins coming off and he hasn't had the best of quarters in a match in which I'm sure he was really hoping that he would do well 21 minutes gone first quarter North with six goals in that time certainly making the running in this match but Jones is rucking superbly Corker Mielis to half forward Crocker with the big fist all the floating hand passes unstuck Larkin nice delivery to German just behind the wing centering kick is good to Jim Cracker and North doing it with a degree of ease which is a worry to Saints supporters Larkin Stevenson oh and at the back fine mark fairly Stevenson had the big run at it he was the one who really looked to have his name on that ball but in fact fairly with much better judgment stood his ground yeah fairly he's a good player we saw him a few weeks ago against Melbourne when he took about 11 marks in the wet conditions and sprayed it again that's his second miss another behind north of kick 6-5 and really could conceivably have eight or nine goals and they're well on top in this first term. Crawley very wide with a perfect kick it was to and it's taken by Owen. The half forward flank is right back on half back flank. Doesn't kick all that well downfield. Pushed out as Winmar against his opponent. The umpire lets it go. Owen, a low, low across towards centre half forward with a good, well directed kick. On to left foot by Nixon. Downfield it goes and lock up. Beautiful mark. Beautiful pass too. And it was Ricky Nixon, who only played about 10 games last year and finished up fifth in their best and fairest. And he's really played with great skill since he went across to St Kilda. Here's Tony Lockett. The hero of the last round, of course, with 12 magnificent goals and a losing score of only 14 goals. And what a great kick he is. He's one of the really straight kicks. He's yes. perfected that drop pump, you know? Yes, Doug, he's a beautiful kick for goal. I, uh, I think he would have been kicking himself after that first opportunity he had when he took that mark and played on on the left foot when he was well within kicking distance. But uh, beautiful pass by Nixon. Nothing McCann could do about that. Hit him right on the chest. And uh, when he's in that range, he's very dangerous. And credit to the Saints, who really, I think, have been outclassed in this quarter and yet have hung in to be within 16 points at the 23-minute mark. Jones dominating the ruck duels so far and winning again. Schimmelbush the Sharker. Well played by Owen, who's kicked two goals and had a good quarter. Lock it again. Good spoil, McCann. Nixon with gusto. Takes it the wrong way. Sheldon, quiet so far. Mossop, Corkamilis, Nixon. Smith. Out of danger for the moment. Sheldon again. Still the Saints persevering. German though. Back to the centre line. Still some Kilda there in numbers. Well played Rice with confidence. Brave against Bill Cracker. And now Coglin from the 50 metre line. Oh bad miss. Still a chance. Winmar. Low. Curler. Curler. Touch. My oh, word he put some hook on it. And he almost got the result. Steve McCann makes some pace too. To frustrate it. McCann out wide looking for Mossop. He finds him with the perfect kick. Mossop short to Law. Nobody at home. Wow Jones late on the scene. Law down looking for Fairley. Punched away by McConville. Nice play Fairley. Jim Cracker gives the lead. Awkward for him. Missed there at the last moment by Crawley. It wasn't Crawley. It was missed by Carbone. Jobling, I think, the French player. Was it? Yes. Yep. Hands might still be a bit cold, but I didn't like the way he dropped his head. We've just ticked into time on, and Larkin can kick a goal. Oh, couldn't have gone any closer. It hit the inside of the post as well. And gets North Melbourne's sixth behind. Again, Jones with first hand on the ball at the ruck duel, but uh, 
Mark and the man in position. <laughs> They're frustrating ones, Bernie, to miss those to be so close. I guess he just put a little bit too much screw on that one, but uh, he had the right idea. Coglin's free kick. Good spoil from Jim Cracker. Full of energy and determination. He really is a goer. Phil, perhaps, with the brilliance. Jim with the real tenacity of a champion. Low in ruck now. Schimmelbush under pressure. Dwyer reading it well, but not picking it up. And a throw in between wing and North Melbourne's half-forward flank on the outer side. David Dwyer being pretty quiet up to date. Only three possessions. Jones in front once again, whistle goes. And the free kick will go to the front man. He's deserved every bit of the big tough man. And he is tough too as well. Looking for low this time. Low has got hands like buckets and takes a beauty. And it'll be a big job for John Law to stand up against this young man, this 18-year-old who is a giant. Down towards centre half forward. Lock it from behind. Jobling gets it taken away from him. Follows on well. Tackled by German. Held it too long. Jobling's claiming it was held to him, but the umpire won't take any notice of that one. McCann across to Steele. Jimmy Crackers alone there and unattended, again. but a bad pass. A very bad pass. Jones out wide. Look out to Sheldon. Jobling's got the chance. On it goes. Carbone back to Jobling. Jobling on half-back flank and the Saints under pressure. Out towards centre wing and Mark Cook could have taken that one. He's still in deal of trouble. Down he goes from a good tackle and held it too long. And the free will go to more. The little man. The series. Three goals in the first quarter. Stevenson paid the mark. Crawley won't like it. And I don't blame him. Now the ball will come back. He paid the advantage rule. I think it was a goal, not luck and kick that one. Yes, it went through. No, no, but it's not paid because I it's a mark. I know it wasn't paid, but if you paid it, it would have. No, but when a mark is taken, uh, advantage can't be paid. It can only be paid after a free kick. You're right, take your correction. So Stevenson outside the 50 metre line. Full forward. Oh, Sean Smith, but Elphinstone standing at ground level took the mark off the side of the boot. It's a shocker. Fortunately for him, bouncing inside the line. I think he was still in shock from taking that mark. Yes. <laughs> it fell into his hands. <laughs> Probably obscured by the man who flew in front of him. And suddenly he had the ball. Jones in, this time against Fairley, wins it again. Didn't really find a rover, but Marcuse with it. Out towards half-back flank of St Kilda, but over the line it goes out of bounds. North Melbourne, 6-5. And St Kilda still staying in it at 4-2. But North are in attack. The grandstand half-forward flank. Jones and Mossop finding homes, new clubs. Oh, Whitty lost it. Schimmelbush boots it down towards that goal square. Stevenson in front. Fights on very well. Can't find anybody to give it to. Breaking away with a hand pass. Here it comes, Demetrio. Steadies and balks beautifully and kicks a beauty. Kicks an absolute beauty. That's his second. Very, very calm was he. Balked and steadied. And Andrew Demetrio kicks a very fine goal. And that was brilliant, that ball from Demetrio. Well done again by Sean Smith. Yeah, he's done a good job at half forward been very lively but a brilliant ball there by Dimitriou and made it uh, certain from 30 metres out Pats him affectionately but should have been the other way around I guess well that really was the goal the Saints didn't want to concede almost 30 minutes into the quarter they really had done very well to stay within three goals a little bit less but now North just kicking away by that one goal Winmar can the Saints peg it back low got away from Law Push. Oh, it's no. got to be a free, Play surely. On. Not according to the umpire. And now it's a throw in. And a couple of frustrated Saints. David Grant, Alex Marcou. Throw in, half forward flank for St Kilda. Let's just have a look at it again. Crocker, the man uh, oh, possibly all, infringing. All over him, Tim. Rode him into the ground. Out of bounds again as we go back live. And we'll see the throw in once more. 
and that was Sheldon who hand passed and the uh, ex Carlton champ had a pretty quiet first term was 30 minutes gone incidentally in the first term low very well done and Nixon overruns it Steve McCann hits it out in front of himself and Lockett dives at it here comes Jimmy Cracker to Larkin Larkin is a lightning hand passer there's the siren and at the 30 minute mark or the first quarter mark North Melbourne 7-6 beating St Kilda 4-2 that's 48 points to 26 Arsiri 3 goals for the Kangaroos, Demetrio 2 and singles to each of the Crackers Jim and Phil and for the Saints Rod Owen kick 2, Lockett and Winmark kick 1 each, he is here St Kilda's coach Daryl Baldock arrived back in town today a bit of a smile for a fan passing by but I don't think the Doc would be too happy with that quarter time scoreline 7-6-48 North Melbourne and Kilda 4 2 26, which there have been two. And here we go in the second term with North Melbourne 22 points to the good at the start of the quarter, and this time going from right to left. And Jones continues his dominance over uh, Mossop. And the Saints first into attack through Owen, just about their best player in the first term. Now Grant, or oh, well met, Steele, good vigorous stuff. Demetrio, Schimmelbush. Fine play North Melbourne, beyond the centre. Scout is Arsiri, who's kicked three, long one off the ground for a throw in. But really that move started with Steele with that lovely hip out of half back and mounted a fine looking attacking move. Just a few metres away from the behind post. Jones comes down to do battle once again. He's certainly working hard. Free kick will go to Corkamilis there. Tackle when not in possession. Spiro sends it out wide. Looking for Owen. Kick there by Nixon. Past Sheldon it goes. Steele pursues it over the line. It's about centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. Saints looking to make some running in this quarter. Now it's low, rucking up on the wing. Jones perhaps lurking uh, across the half-back line. See if we can sort out how they're uh, operating that. Law, Demetrio with courage. Immense courage. Really copped it from Witty and didn't back off one centimetre. And that took the wind right out of his sails, not to mention his lungs. Hospital ball from Law. Couldn't do much else under that pressure, but uh, that's football courage. 12 possessions, Demetrio, an outstanding performance. Mossop to Holt, centering kick with the right boot for Conville. Lovely glide in from the side, and now Jobling. There's perfect judgment. Jobling kicks atrociously. He was tackled, but ashamed of himself as Sean Smith tackled pretty late, and Jobling kicks it atrociously. And David Dwyer, short pass, well done. Doesn't gain much, but gains enough to give... German the chance who's also been a prolific kick getter as has Demetrio and Larkin. German coming in for his 11th possession kicks it long and kicks it high and kicks it hit the post what bad luck just hit the post and that's 7-7 to 4-2 Danny Frawley hasn't placed it too well and Jobling couldn't hold onto it. German Stevenson from behind. Elphinston. Quite happy to find the line then. Once again, the Saints under a lot of pressure back there. North Victors last time around in August last year by 37 points. And this game's headed in that direction at the moment. The ball up. Number 10 for North Melbourne. There is uh, Larkin, who's changed jumpers. Normally wears number 9. But the opposing... Uh, number 10, Big Whale Jones takes the free. Spoil from behind from Mossop forces throw in, foiling Owen's attempt to mark. And it's still north by 23 points, and they're in attack. Owen made that very difficult, didn't do it well. Tried to take a chess mark when he could have done well played Coglin. Owen thumps that on, and Jimmy Cracker anticipates it. Owen still hits it out wide. Diving out of Schimmelbush, so is Coglin. Coughlin, who had a magnificent week last week when he had 39 possessions against Melbourne. Been a bit quiet tonight up to date. Mossop and Jones again. 
Larkin fights for it as usual. Corkamilis goes for it again. Jim Cracker tackles him. Well played as it kicked off the ground downfield. John Law in front. Awkward one. He's in on low. It's a big assignment. Law week after week is outmatched physically, certainly in height. And it'll be thrown in the half forward flank. Four minutes gone. Just one behind scored by North Melbourne in the second term. Law. Pressure from Corpamilis. Good tackle. Now he wins the ball. But can't get out of that jam. Mossop. And eventually the Kangaroos win a free kick. And it's relayed for a late infringement. And it's taken by German on the centre line. No, it's not a mark for Demetrio. Tried to make it look like one. Dwyer nicely. Schimmelbush. Fairly. Pressure from Jones. Stevenson. Brawley in attendance. Holding the ball. Well done by the St Kilda skipper. Good inspiring stuff. Fought very hard then to make sure his man wasn't going to get a kick so close to goal. And then finds Jobling. Jobling now will give it to McConville. McConville's an awkward one but does it nicely. Out wide it goes and hit there by Elphinston. Out to the wing position, Sheldon. Sheldon hooks it downfield and hurriedly goes to Ross Smith. And Ross Smith marks in defence. Very long, good 60 metre one downfield. German from behind was frustrated and the St Kilda mark will go, I think, to Witte. It is David Witte, best first year player last year. John Law got the big assignment once again, taken by Ross Smith. Ross Smith down towards the half forward line and Witte once again. Was it Jobling? Jobling it is. Kicks through the centre of the ground. Smith from behind, doesn't go for the specky. Sheldon to half forward. Lock at the chance, one out and support. Owen for his third goal and gets it. Well played St Kilda, the first goal of the quarter. Took six minutes in coming. Rod Owen, eight kicks, three goals out of St Kilda's five and the margin back to 17 points. And after struggling to get the ball past their half back line, really, um, but quite often happens. North Melbourne have done all the attacking. St Kilda got it down to their forward line very quickly and it was very open. Lockett was well up the ground, knocked it onto Owen and uh, kicked a fine goal. Jones wins another one. Corkamilis overruns it. Mossop tries to kick it off the ground. Marcuse with it now. Caught by Steele. Held it too long. Tackle too high. Alex Marcou, blistering pace from Carlton in his old days. Low goes up high, didn't look much like it. That was John Law, kick covered no distance. Nixon well done. Hooked downfield by Owen once again. Underneath it, Lockett. Lockett fight for it, recovers well, will hook it for goal. And hooks it over his shoulder. And makes it. Tony Lockett. Second goal. That was a really good struggling goal for a man who's 95 kilograms, so he's got plenty of weight to move around and did it very well. Yes, well done by Big Lockett. He fought on well and really he's a player that never says die. His strength is really his marking, but uh, as you said, Doug, 95 kilograms and to move around like that, he uh, really gives St Kilda a, a, a great focal point up on the forward line. And a good grafting effort by the Saints. This They really have been outplayed in this match. We're eight minutes into the second quarter, and yet they're within 11 points. And there's the man starting a lot of it, Warren Jones. Law puts North back into attack. Oh, here's danger. Jim Cracker. Well tackled. Elphinston. McConville. And good work from Jobling. Makes it easy for McConville. Good stuff from the Saints. Mark Hu. Hasn't got the acceleration of old. Demetrio to full forward. Fairly. And that wasn't fairly easy. It was too easy. 25 metres out. Slight angle. She's hoping he kicks a goal. And I suspect he will from that distance and might put a smile on that face. Who's the she? That's me, isn't it? I'll stick with Tim. <laughs> fairly. Third shot at goal. And this time he makes good. He missed the first two in the first quarter. Gets North Melbourne after nine minutes of play. 
Really, you can't question the determination and desperation of the uh, St Kilda side. Only a couple of times out of the back line, they've let themselves down with poor kicks and poor handballs, and it's really let North Melbourne in, and that's been the difference between the two sides. What a super game Demetrio's played. He's picked up possessions everywhere. He's kicked a couple, and he caused that one. Mossop wins this one. Owen comes through and lost it. Crocker in trouble, but gets his left foot to it very well. Mark has missed out wide there by Elphinston. Plays on strongly. Pursued by Sean Smith, who's done pretty well. And Elphinston looked very proppy then as he went over the line. And he's gone, Doug. I think he's gone. He's pulled a hamstring. What bad luck. He's only played one match this year when he had an extraordinary match in which he had 22 hand passes and 31 possessions. And he's down and out again. And I'm afraid that's bad luck for the Saints. For Camillus, the free kick for the high tackle. A little bit fortunate. Hugs the boundary. Marku. Grant. Oh, good hand pass. Carbone to Marku. Nicely placed kick. Coglin and Shimmer. And the record breaker for North Melbourne in his 301st game to McCann. Crocker, an uncharacteristic error. Good tackle, Lockett. Had his head down. And it's a ball up. The umpire ruling that. The man with the ball had it held to him. The tackler was within his rights, even though he's a bit disappointed. But I think the umpire there is, is quite right. So the bounce and Kilda's half forward line. Coglin gets a free kick. And the ball will come back. And Coglin just outside 50 metres. Might find the shot a little bit too long for him. There's the old fashioned way of delivering the ball along the ground. It was a teammate, so there's no 15-metre penalty. But for you youngsters, when I was young, and that's not that long ago, I like to think the opposition always used to roll it back just to take up a bit of time. It was time-wasting of a couple of decades ago. Away go North. Steele, who's had the job on Sheldon and done it very well. Warren Jones doesn't like it that low. But McConville is there in support. Hooked it down to the half-forward line. Underneath it, a gallant effort that time. Well done, Coglin again. Coglin drives it down to Lockett. Lockett in front of McCann. Caught, good tackle, McCann. Fumbling. Underneath it, Owen again. He's kicked three. And it really has been a perfect half-forward flank opportunistic go. Tenth possession. And he's got the chance to come in for his fourth goal. And I'm sure Spiro had a little look there at the last moment. It wasn't a lucky kick. It was uh, one that he intended. Rodney Owen, this young man who started at St Kilda, and just about his 16th birthday. And the clapping goes up before the ball covers much distance off his boot, which indicated very, very straight. Wonderful performance at the 12-minute mark in the second quarter. Rod Owen has kicked four goals, two in the first term and two in the second. Yes, Doug, and uh, there's only 11 points in this match now. Really, St Kilda's been a, it's been a very creditable, creditable performance, but uh, just for those couple of mistakes out of the back line, they'll be right in this match. I wonder whether John Kennedy will be thinking about putting Steve McCann onto the ball, or they're getting so soundly thrashed by... Well, they're getting nothing, really, from Mossop. So, 12 and a half minutes into the term, Demetrio... Forced to kick straight across ground, and the Saints with plenty of aggression. Well done, Marku. Beats Dwyer. One twinkle toes against another. And this time it's a standoff with the throw in. Uh, Alex Marku cast in the mould of uh, David Dwyer's illustrious father, Laurie. North by 11 points. Moss have won this one. Downfield it goes from Grant. Lockett comes late on the scene. Johnny Law's there too. Wait, played strong man. Out wide. Underneath it, Ricky Winmar and Wow Jones. Wow almost held a good one. Winmar tries to help him, but it's Coglin again. Playing a good second term. Great pass towards Lowe. Lowe is awkward for him. Johnny Holt. Out wide it goes. A chance for Owen again. Owen turns and twists out of danger. Hooks it downfield. Front position. Well played Steele. In trouble. Mossop. Caught. Too slow. Umpire says play on. Lock it left, puts it downfield, but well off direction, and it just squeezes through for one behind. Number 14. 
He's a massive fellow, this young man, 21 years old, very strong. And we've got a contest which I wouldn't have expected late in the first quarter. Ross Smith beyond half back. Oh, a bit of a nudge there by Steele against Sheldon, and Ken Sheldon takes the free. No doubt about that one. Quiet so far. Five possessions only. Lockett comes from behind. Plenty of spoilers. Schimmelbush, well tackled by Carbone. And suddenly the boot's on the other foot. St Kilda keeping the ball in attack. And North under the pressure. And starting to feel it a bit. Some of the young ones like Carbone and Joblin have tackled particularly well. Steele. German. Down to the flank it goes in front. Sean Smith is a very good mark. That was really a strong chest mark. Just inches in front of his opponent, German. The great possession getter. Drives it long downfield. Over Jamie Stevenson's head. Pass it goes. Jimmy Cracker comes in. Frawley's there too. Chance for Stevenson. Should leave it to Arsiri. Arsiri did it brilliantly. Won't make the distance. And it's pushed through for one behind. As David Grant pushes it over the line. And it's just through for one behind. Jobling, moving it quickly and well. Winmar, forward at half back. Now beyond the wing. Smith should have held it, but can still win it. Percentage stuff. Jones, well done. Nixon, Winmar, just behind the wing. Low, oh, nice use of the body then. Just edging Law out. Inexperienced player, 13 games under his belt, but uh, he's a good one. Jobling, improving after a slow start. McCann, good position against Lockett. Corkamelis, dangerous up there. Sheldon with the left. Just missed. The Saints edge a little closer, and they're not out of the ballpark here, trailing by just 10 points. And Sheldon and Marku, who played in three premiership sides each, that one from Sheldon just went over the top of Marcou's fingers. Unlucky. McCann straight down the centre. Lows the leaper. Behind is Larkin. Can't get a slick one out. Sheldon, very nice. Coglin hooks it downfield. That centre half forward, the mark should have been taken. Coglin this time. Hand pass comes out to Dimitri again. Look out. Wow, well, Jones. Oh, he flattens him. Oh, that should be reportable. He flattens him and he runs away very quickly as well. Your comment, Bernie. Well, it looked to me as if it was an elbow, and well, I think that was Wow's only intention. And Demetrio hasn't moved. There it is again. It's forearm or the elbow. And you really wonder how they can miss those, don't you? Well, that's right. I, I can't understand and the why. In Demetrio's hands. You see some such reports for trivial instances, and there we see Demetrio tackled high with the forearm or elbow, and. Well he done, gets a free been. kick, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, he's been a champion. And he's wobbly. He's very, very wobbly. Number 28 has played a magnificent game and just gets put the ball wearily. Looking for Sean Smith in front. The mark is beautifully taken by German. German plays on quickly. Across it goes towards Fairley. Over the back to Fairley. You'll have to be quick. Arsiri helps him. Fighting them both was witty. It'll be bounced and North are in the tack. 18 minutes gone in the term. St Kilda's quarter, they've kicked three goals to one to be within 10 points. And Jones gets a free. Demetrio's out on his feet. And the North Melbourne fans feel there's no justice. They feel this big fellow was the culprit a moment ago. Nice Mark McConville. Great pair of hands. And still a very fine player. And his second club after over 150 games. That's such a great kick, and well done, Steele, who's done a tremendous job on Sheldon. And that time played the percentages to take it over the line. Yes, at this stage, I think Demetrio will be off just for a few moments because he's really feeling very groggy. Well played there, Dwyer, but can't break through with it eventually. Picked up by Grant. Grant out wide. The kick is lost by Jobling. What a weight tackle. That's the second time he's tackled Jim Cracker absolutely brilliantly. I thought he might have taken the free. At least he frustrated the cracker movement, and it'll be bounced. 
like this. Well, under that perfect tackle rule that we were hearing about last year, he did deserve it. But then again, Cracker had done so well to win the ball, I suppose he didn't deserve to be penalised. Demetrio still going like a thrashing machine. Steel, but with courage, Peter McConville standing his ground. Even though he must have been able to hear the footsteps, he didn't budge. Now out wide, Sheldon heard the familiar Carlton voice. He goes too wide. Had a man running into space in Owen, number 27. But uh, Ken Sheldon didn't finish his work too well then. I think Crocker might have really prevented him from finishing it all that well. Jones' front position. Moss have probably won it. Holt hits it downfield. Ricky Nixon with it. Hooks it back towards centre wing position. Could have been a free kick that time. I thought it was going to Corkamilis. Corkamilis plays on very quickly and very cleverly to Marku. Marku 60 metres out. A great pass to Lockett. That was beautiful to watch. He lined it up with Alex Marku. And the big strong chested Tony Lockett just kept running downfield. And took the mark on that burly chest. This is his fifth kick. He's kicked two goals. The angle is acute, but he's only about 35 metres out from goal. And the normally accurate one has got a wonderful chance of kicking this one. He kicks so beautifully. You look at it, he is a perfect kick. He must like the feel of the MCG at the moment, Bernie. Got yeah. 12 out of 14 here. That's right, Bill. We always had a lot of problems at Fitzroy when we played some Kudel. Lockett always seemed to kick a bag against us. And really, he's been criticised for being overweight, but I think uh, the huge frame that he has got is helping him when he's playing at full forward. Great use of the ball by the two Carlton men. McConville, uh, rather, Corker Millis, and then look at that, Alex Marcou. Yes, he leads very well too, Lockett, and uh, even though McCann's not slow himself, he had no chance of cutting that one off. What a comeback by the Saints to within four points. Well into the second quarter, 21 minutes gone, and who knows, they could be in front at half-time, which... We certainly would have, wouldn't have predicted at the first change when North led by 22 points. Got St Kilda, have kicked four goals to one in 21 and a half minutes. And the match has been turned around. Steele in their pitching, Nixon. And the Saints go away again, Witty to half forward. Lockett, no one running past. Crocker having a bad match. Got the fumbles. Well done, Larkin. Neat side step around Winmar. Lovely delivery too. Phil Cracker and Mossop. Well done, the big man, but oh, great smother by Big Wow. And good work, Coglin. Still going, and Coglin gets a free kick. And I think he and Jones deserved it for effort. Good stuff. And one of the men who deserves tremendous credit is young Rice, who's kept Phil Cracker right out of the game, particularly in this second quarter. All down goes Corker Mealis from a courageous part. Well played Law, doesn't cover much distance. Coglin playing very well, hooks it out wide. Running with the flight of the ball is Owen. Almost took a good one. Picked up by McCann and then lost. Law's got the chance now. Hurried hand pass out wide. Picked up by Arsiri. North Melbourne under tremendous pressure. Back it comes into their danger zone. Well played there. Hand pass from Corker Mealis goes out wide. And Nixon's in lots and lots of trouble. Hooks it back. Up goes lock, up goes low. Steve McCann comes through very strongly. Loses the run of the ball. Right on the boundary line. Kicks it down towards centre wing. And the stance is still there for North Melbourne. Coglin fight for it. It's picked up by, uh, uh, by Sean Smith. He's right on the boundary line. And they're looking very weary as our theory gets it. Shouts of ball and man erupting from the crowd. The umpire letting it all go. And Jobling, who's had a big second quarter. Away goes Larkin, but meanwhile there's a reporter, I think, over on the wing. There's certainly a North Melbourne free kick. Not sure that the notebook did come out. But John Holt, who's been very quiet, takes the free and delivers in characteristic fashion. Crawley the big spoil. Jones, a loose hand pass. Well done, though, Jobling. Smith, Sean Smith. Holt. Jobling, who's been in everything across that half-back line, finds the line. Bit of hostility coming into it. Certainly the crowd making a racket. 24 minutes into the second quarter, North by less than a kick. 
and Jobling and Rice have done very well against the Cracker Brothers. German hooks it downfield. Peter McConville, tremendous courage, almost took a good one. Out towards David Grant, takes a little bit too long. It's fumbled by Whitty. I thought he was over the white line, he was, as it went to Mark Hugh. That will be thrown in on the 50 metre mark. But the Cracker Brothers have been kept very, very quiet in the second turn. And that's the way to keep North Melbourne out of it. Wow, Jones done a mammoth job. Stevenson at full forward having trouble. Hooks it off the ground. Picked up there by Demetrio. North Melbourne's best probably. Mark Goo. Oh, Ooh. too high was the tackle. Far too high. And the free kick that's against John Holt will go to Alex Mark Goo. No doubt about that. Oh, well, no doubt about his intentions. <laughs> Marku from halfback. Lock it right up in the centre of the ground. Good support. Owen. But now Crocker. Dwyer. Blazes away beyond half forward. Crawley up with the fist. Marku just in time. Jobling. Nixon. From halfback. Very wide. Just bouncing inside. And a throw in the result. Oh, and over we go. Retained our balance well, though. I hope it retains And loved else. every minute of it. <laughs> the pipe didn't even leave the lips. Jones and Donald McDonald coming on the ground. Downfield it goes once again. Underneath it, Nicky Winmar never looked like it. Smith almost took a good one. Phil Cracker tackled there by Sheldon. Umpires decided to bounce. Just in time on, by 45 seconds. Saints looking for a goal to hit the front for the first time. Oh, through goes Smith, and that's a high tackle. And now advantage, Winmar from a long way. Offline, behind to St Kilda. And I really wonder about the, uh, the advantage rule there. I thought the Saints would have been better off had they been able to take the set kick. Too far out to score, but Winmar was always under pressure. John Law kicks out, looking for Donald McDonald. Punched away from him by Carbone. Arsiri in trouble from Marku. Marku playing very well. Hooked it back cleverly. Lovely pass it was. And Nicky Winmar is 55 to 60 metres out. That's seven possessions this term to Marku. Winmar, a very long kick. See where they can make it. A very bad kick, actually. Off the hands, Rod Owen, who's been a great forward. Out to Winmar again. Winmar down towards that full forward zone. Lows the giant hands. Couldn't hold it. Hand pass is good out wide. Phil Cracker long. Look out, Matty Larkin. Dazzling turn. Steadies and sends it downfield. Beautifully done over the back past Nixon. But nice play there. And Nixon's got it once again. It's Whitmer, Whitten. Hand pass back to Jim Cracker. Jim Cracker out wide. Back it comes to David Holt, the left footer. John Holt, the left footer, and kicks badly. Well, he doesn't often kick badly, but that was never on and one behind. The difference, four points. Crawley in a hurry. Saw McConville loose. Oh, and well taken. He's playing well. Good pressure from uh, Crocker that time on Owen, who's given him the slip plenty in this match. Ball up, just North's attacking side of the centre line. Almost 28 minutes gone. 57 to 53, North in front by four points. St Kilda, they'll kick four goals to one for the quarter. And the Saints through Grant to half forward. Schimmelbush. And he's 301st, but straight back whence it came. David Grant standing still on the same spot. And took it easily. Grant out wide, looking for Coglin, and a nice mark taken in front by Crocker. Not been a big night for Crocker. That's only his third possession. Looks for Fairley. Fairley takes a good one, two bites at it, but did it very well. Look out, Demetrio from Wow Jones again. Oh, he's in trouble. And he got out of it, and I'm glad he did. There he is. Been a gallant player, number 28, isn't he? Hands to head, he gets up, and at half-time, it's eight goals, nine, North Melbourne to St Kilda, 8-5, 57 points to 53. Four points. Foggy air, the second half. 
gets underway at the MCG and St Kilda wooden spooners of the last four years with just one win in the first four rounds was really making a good fist of it but John Mossop with the first fist on the ball at the start of the third term Larkin back in number nine and now Allison who sat on the bench through the first half but Rice boots the Saints out of trouble Jim Cracker forces a throw in on the wing out of side 57 to 53 30 seconds into the third term and John Kennedy has put Donald McDonald at full forward in this particular in this third term it comes Wow Jones who's been a dominant ruckman Coglin played a wonderful second term Jim Cracker puts it downfield picked up that little short kick luckily by John Holt Holt sends his typical left footer out wide kicks it beautifully and the mark is taken over from the half forward flank by German German too far out to score short pass to our series a gem and always slithered along the turf this has been one of North Melbourne's very best this gallant little rover he's kicked three goals 13th possession 50 meters from goal spiral torpedo over the back it should have been marked by Whitty it's picked up there by Nixon a very good hand pass out to Sheldon and Sheldon boots it down towards the halfback flank and well taken by Rice who's been a promising performer too far below the target Carbone gets a free kick a little lucky I thought yes I think Johnny Law had it, uh, his goons he held in the first place there Coglin, a real goer a star for the Saints against Melbourne last round now Sheldon for Lockett almost fights on well let go of the ball and could be penalised no, no free kick I was looking at the umpire and I didn't even see who kicked it but it's a goal and the Saints hit the front through Winmar for the first time in the match two minutes into the third quarter St Kilda in front by two points Winmar gets his second and still the Saints have just three goal kickers four to Allen, three to Lockett and two to Nicky Winmar yeah, well done again by Lockett Lucky not to be penalised yeah, for that Yeah, I think he should have been there, Tim, too. But Winmar made the most of his opportunities and put the Saints in front. So uh, we've really got a match on our hands. Mossop doing better. Marku taken away. McConville a heavy tackle. And the tackle was too heavy. John Holt will take the free kick. And one of North Melbourne's quiet players, but starting up well in the third term. And there's a 65-metre one. Oh, good mark. Lovely mark by Sean Smith again. My oh, word, he's got some talent, this young one. Really a sensational leaper. That's his fourth mark, but they've all been good ones. There's John Holt with the perfect kicking style from left footer. And watch young Sean Smith as he comes in there in front and a very good leap and perfectly timed. Now he comes in from about 25 metres out, deserves the goal, he hooks it a bit, but he still made it. Well done. And that's his first, but a very important one for North Melbourne. There's the rollicking, laughing face of that famous man, John Kennedy, and John Dugdale looking just as serious. No jokes up there, Brent. <laughs> no, I think they'd be uh, understandably worried. But they're back in front again, North Melbourne. So it's a seesawing game uh, at the start of the third quarter. Fine solo effort by the 17-year-old from Ainsley in the Australian Capital Territory, Sean Smith who really looks to have some talent. Mossop starting to win some knocks. Coglin though, my word, he's a goer. Low. Lockett leads, then has to double back. And low unloads. Lockett, one out. Well done, McCann, always in good posse. Jim Cracker went straight for the line. No free kick, not much doubt about his intention but not even an appeal from the St Kilda section of the crowd. Jim Cracker and Phil Cracker both on the ball now, which is an interesting move by John Kennedy. Mossop doing better on the ball, thumps out of it, doesn't do it very well. It's kicked off the ground and Corkamelis hit the post. Touched off the boot, was it? I think well, it was touched, touched off, off the boot. boot. Well, certainly it was a behind only, but I thought it had gone through and Spiro Corkamelis kicks it behind. McCann kicks out wide, out to Smith it goes. Jimmy Cracker touching that off the boot. The play goes on, and that's what's important at the moment. Schimmelbush 
Brought German, it was brought down well. And the Saints had to attack through Owen. Just too far for Grant. And a throw in on some Kilda's half forward flank. A long way up from goal. 65 to 70 metres. And a real game at the MCG. North, three points in front. Schimmelbush wanted it more than Grant. And a throw in. True centre wing. Outer side. In front of the most heavily populated section of the ground. And a fairly worried North contingent all round. Jones on the ball this time. And beautifully out to Mark Cooley's pal. Down pillar, good spoil by Lowe against it. Over the back it goes from Phil Cracker. Nicely picked up by Holt. Weaves out of trouble. Hooks it back to an open half forward flank. Harsiri leads in the race for it. A lucky bounce. And down goes Jobling. Cleverly across to Marku in trouble. Well, Jobling was in trouble. Did it well to Marku. Marku dodges and twists and sent it to centre wing. John Mossop should mark and does. Got lots of time to big fella. Playing a good third quarter after a quiet first half. Wow Jones comes from behind, it never looked like it. In front it was almost taken Sean Smith again. Out it goes towards uh, Marku again, taking a nice one. Marku down towards the half forward line, beautifully to Lowe. And Lowe wisely takes his time. Right on 50 metres out, he's a slightly awkward kick, and that's a shocker. Still the Saints with a chance though. Owen, tremendous value for them tonight. Sheldon, very elusive, and a long kick. Nothing there. Winmar, tremendous. Oh, fantastic. That was unbelievable. He gets his second goal for the quarter, his third for the match, and puts St Kilda back in front. And you don't see that too often. That's last I, just, wasn't it? I still can't work out how he did that, Tim. Because I had it put down as an easy mark to Stephen McCann at fullback. Let's have a look at it again. Number seven, Savannah Watch. Oh, he stole it right off him. Magnificent play by Winmar. Steve McCann didn't do anything wrong either. It was beautifully done. He just absolutely stole it away from him and kicked a wonderful goal. Mossop won it again. All trouble. Coglin playing a very good term and picked up there nicely by Steele. Out towards the half forward flank. Further on it goes. Here's a chance for Arsiri, the strong little fellow. Got away from Jamie Lamb, and it's over the line, out of bounds. St Kilda 66, three points ahead of North Melbourne 63. And the Saints fired up after that effort from Winmar. But North in attack. Holt, McDonald, Arsiri. Well, controlled it beautifully. But too many St Kilda men there. Lamb the hand pass to Whitty, and the Saints with a bit of spring in their stride. Grant, Schimmelbush, well done Carbone, under a lot of pressure, gets a free kick. And you can see the Saints really starting to feel they might be able to do it. Owen to half forward, Grant, well taken. Inside 50, Lockett, late spoil with the mark paid. And Lockett is only 35 metres out. Chance for his fourth. And he can put some kill to nine points in front. Held it long enough, one would think, watching that replay. Good clean grab at the ball. He shouldn't miss this. Specialist goal kicker. And this will really bring the St Kilda fans to life. Oh, he's hooked it. And he wishes he was dead. They lead by four points, though. And they're running on at the nine minute mark of the third term. And you would never have predicted this at quarter time when North Melbourne led by 22 points. Nice football by David Grant that time when he took a very well judged mark and then played on and a short pass to Lockett was nicely done. Stephen McCann kicked it straight down the centre this time looking for Mossop. It's punched down by McDonald. Winmar hits it out wide. And he's got it very nicely. Looks for a long hand pass. Out to Marku. Marku to Sheldon. Sheldon, the cleverest kick down towards the goal line. And it's over the top of Schimmelbush from the bounce. And it's through for one behind. But Ken Sheldon, who's really quite magical with his skills, and that was a very, very clever kick. But it's one behind. And lucky to make the one behind, actually. He was in such an impossible situation. He's an improviser. 
from him. And he certainly uh, improvised hurriedly. McCann dangerous to Phil Cracker. Wow, Jones, not the surest pair of hands in the world. Steel, German, Phil Cracker through the middle of the Melbourne cricket ground. A brother Jim in delightful fashion. Time to steady. Arsiri late on the scene. Mossop, well pressured by Frawley. Arsiri, now Larkin. North back in front. Well played by the Kangaroos. And they lead by a point at the ten and a half minute mark of the third term, but we're a long way from home. And this really, at the moment, is anybody's match. Yes, that's right, Tim. And again, the crackers in that passage of play. And really, they're the dangerous ones for North Melbourne. And St Kilda will have to really watch him if they're going to win this game. A great little game our series played. He's got that hand pass out to, to Matthew Larkin. Marciri himself has kicked three goals. Oak, well played Sheldon, kicks it downfield and Smith comes in, that's Ross Smith. And Mark's about the centre half-back region, will kick it short to Dwyer. Dwyer centre wing position, very wide, will look for Larkin. Out it goes to Matty Larkin and takes the mark. Would be wise to take his time on the 50 metre mark he does as Witty tackles him. Larkin, I think, will give it his all now. Kicks it right down towards that square and over the back it goes. Nobody really looked like marking that one and three for one behind. Danny Frawley, the close checking fullback, the captain, and the kick out. Lobs it in front of the members for Coglin. And a good mark. And the flaxen head, one playing in the centre and doing it very well. Lovely hand pass. And the Saints through jobbling to the wing. No free kick to Winmar. Away goes Crocker. Nicely for Jim Cracker. Here's danger from the angle. No. Thought he might have made a better fist of that, but it was never going to be close. And North lead by three points, having kicked two behinds in 30 seconds. McConville down, this, McConville's the target. Over the back it goes. Nicely picked up by Crocker once again. Oh, the mark was taken. Play on his oh, play on. That was really tough, and Rice gets it out wide. Caught the uh, Whit Whitmar is in trouble. Winmar in out wide to Low, and Low's in very good position. But Law did it brilliantly. Very strong football, John Law. Hooks it downfield. Our Siri will take the mark between centre wing and half forward flank. Out wide it goes. Larkin from the long header, driving pass, not a good one. Straight into the hands of McConville. Mr. Ford certainly would have loved that pass in his chest, but he happened to be a defender. Winmar! Oh! Hasn't this youngster got some talent? From South Fremantle, he's done some amazing things in this quarter. Coglin well tackled by Holt, Sheldon. There's that funny banana kick around the corner for his old mate Alex Marcou. Steel over running it. Grant. Ball up, surely. Yes towards St Kilda's half forward line 13 and a half minutes into the third quarter north by three points but it's a real struggle down from wire on from our Siri. Nixon takes it very strongly our Siri a chance once again handles the ball beautifully hooks it back underneath it fairly in a flash to German German kicks it down towards the full forward zone. Donald McDonald and Mossop is there. Mossop hand passes down. Picked up by Jim Cracker. Hooks it for goal and misses once again. Same position, same, same position, result. Same tackle. Now, there might be a free kick. It looks as though the umpire feels he was felled after disposing. Checks with the goal umpire to see whether it was a goal or a behind. Now we'll ask Jim Cracker if he'd like a second chance. He does. And let's see what the reason for it is. Late attempt by Lamb, bumped him just after he kicked, no malice whatsoever, and I think really, fairly harsh decision. Yes, was there wasn't much in it there, Tim. It was late. Second chance for Cracker, in fact third, because he's missed twice. And a la Malcolm Blight in that famous incident a few years ago, which came after the final siren and with the scores level, this time he doesn't even score. And so the first score doesn't register. Warren Jones beautifully Pressure on Corkamilis. That was pretty deliberate, but the umpire gives him the benefit of the doubt. 
about 20 metres from the behind post. Mossop over the back. Conville takes it, left puts it downfield. It's all North Melbourne hands. Big lead by McDonald. He looks at the umpire and says, that was mine, wasn't it? It was too, Donald. And this one, who, this fiery customer who's shown so much promise and yet has not fulfilled it often, he's kicked some goals in the past for North Melbourne. And when he kicks, he'll be just over 50 metres from goal. So it'll need to be a very good one. Oh, look at the length of it. It's a prodigious kick. It's a sensational kick. Super boot. Oh, he just runs straight back towards the centre from the moment it left the boot. And that really was a spectacular goal. Bernie Quinlan's turned green. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm definitely jealous after that kick. Did it easy, Bernie? Oh, he did. And that's, I think that's a secret to it too, Doug. It's a timing. It's not how hard you kick it. Good but mark, here it comes. Yes. Just inside the 50 metre line, but he kicked from well outside. Yeah, he would have kicked from about 55 metre metres out, and still he... going up, and it went through. It was too. It would have gone about 70. 16 minutes gone, and North asserting its supremacy for the moment. McDonald, Arsiri, and a relay free kick. Well, they say a game against St Kilda is always a tough one physically, and the men in red, white, and black out there are making sure that that old adage is uh, as true as it always has been. Fairly to full forward, Mossop. Sean Smith, well tackled by Marku. All two North players collided. Players everywhere around that had a ball up 30 metres from North Melbourne's goal. But the Kangas lifting a bit here after losing the lead. And they lead now by nine points. North Melbourne players were tumbling down everywhere in that particular incident. Well played Jones again, but didn't do much good to German. Downfield it goes and running with the follow ball. Kicked off the ground by Dwyer. And he's kicked it through. That was very clever by David Dwyer. He was from behind, and we'll see how he really put his foot out there in front of, I think it was Jamie Lamb, and a very, very intelligent goal. Here it comes. Yes, he never really looked like he was in the right position to get that goal. But maybe a little bit of slack defence by the St Kilda player. Could have dived and knocked it along the ground. But yes, he uh, have, I, guess. I think he should have. Maybe he eased up, thought that it was under control. He may have, Tim. So North have kicked the last three. And they're back in control for the time being. But uh, don't write the Saints off. Pretty tenacious bunch. But North are really lifting their input at the moment. St Kilda forward through Nixon. Allison down by Carbone. He goes down at the hands of Law. On the wrong end of the Law. And a throw in on the wing. Kangaroo orders a few more groceries before the supermarkets close down. Centre wing, North by 15 points. One of the unsung heroes has been John Law, incidentally. He's kept Lowe right out of the game there. And Lowe's got all the physical advantages, advantages against him. But John Law has done a tremendous job. Free kick goes out and Donald McDonald again. Quick mm -hmm. hand pass. Out to our series. He sends it out towards centre half forward. Jimmy Cracker. Oh, I could have played that one. Picked up by Fairley. Fairly left foot down where Mossop goes out with Crawley. Over the back from Dwyer. Picked up and driven out of danger, and it is danger. Up goes Cracker, but the mark is taken by Nixon. Nixon too tall for Phil Cracker. And in defence on the half-back flank, looks for Winmar. Over the back, it's Ross Smith takes the mark. Too far out to think of shooting for goal. Kicks it long. Frawley and Mossop once again. Both go to the ground, and I think it's again John, against John Mossop and will be taken by the young St Kilda captain, Danny Crawley, the boy from Bungaroo. Pretty poor kick then from Smith, just roosting it forward with uh, a very high spiral punt. Well taken by Fairley. 65 metres from goal. Another very high kick, Mossop. But, uh, it's a bit, hard, bit easy for the defenders when the ball's kicked that high. Now Lamb delivers for McConville. On the half-back flank. Saints haven't done much attacking for a while. Coglin, great contributor for St Kilda. Oh, another high kick forward. Owen used the body well. Allison dispossessed. Corkamelis, good tackling though from Crocker. 
Sheldon. Oh, good chip pass. Beautifully done. Owen, who's been everywhere on the board line, has kicked four goals. Can have another go. Doesn't. Marku. Oh! Baron Crocker. 15 metres. And perhaps a little lucky the treatment from the umpire wasn't more harsh because that was a bit crude. I don't think he's really given to that sort of thing, but uh, perhaps he felt it was his only option arriving late. Alex Marku on the wrong end of it all again. Should kick a goal. 17 possessions. Gets his first goal and becomes only St Kilda's fourth goal kicker for the match and keeps them within striking distance, trailing by nine points at the 21-minute mark of the third quarter. Yes, we haven't really seen that type of play from Crocker before, but uh, may have thought he had to make Alex Marku earn that one. I think he's very frustrated too, Bernie, because his opponent has been Rod Owen, who's uh, really given him, him a bath. And, uh, he came late on the scene for this one. Here it is. Back in the centre. A foot down towards it up, but here's a chance. Bad luck for Jim Cracker. Very awkward bounce. McConville gathers in perfectly. Long hand pass to Nixon is danger. Tackle by Phil Crocker. Out to Lamb it goes. He's got time now. On the halfback flank, kicks to McConville again. Didn't do it well. John Law did it brilliantly. Sends them thumping into attack. And a great effort there by Sheldon. The Cracker brothers are in evidence. Jamie Lamb fight for it. Picked up brilliantly by Jim Cracker. Across to brother Phil, of course and a lovely piece of play by the Cracker Brothers. Like lightning was that left foot pass. Jobling wasn't far away, and yet Phil Cracker now has got the chance with his trusty, trusty left boot. An amazing recover, Phil Cracker. How, uh, Jimmy, Cracker. Jimmy Cracker. How he got to his feet so quickly after diving onto that ball. Only his third kick. Phil Cracker's third kick, which is one of the quietest nights he's ever had. Kicks for goal. We've commented so often, it's an ungainly looking kicking action, but by word he steadies the ball to the boot and puts it right on the boot, and that's the way to kick accurately, and that's a very timely goal for North Melbourne. Yes, it was, Doug, and the old uh, cracker magic was well in evidence there. John Collins. Certainly hasn't had the best of it so far. Had a bad first quarter and has sat on the bench since. North kicking to a 15-point lead. Low in ruck and wins handsomely. Marku has to go backwards and they've lost possession. Mossop, Holt. Forced onto the right boot. Good tackle, Coglin. Surely a throw, still no free kick. And then the Saints into attack. Great mark. David Brand, who's got a fine pair of hands and a good leap. And from inside 50 metres, should peg one back for St Kilda. Nine possessions only to the former City South player, Launceston. Got a bit close to the man on the mark, and I think that might be why that one faded out to the right. And when the Saints so badly needed a goal, he doesn't deliver, and the margin is... 16 points according to that score, 15 according to the scoreboard. Grant's opponent has been the wonderful captain, Schimmelbush, who breaks the North Melbourne record tonight for the number of games played. Breaks his copper Keith Riggs record, Keith uh, Gregg's record. There's Law, who's done very well. Sheldon playing better in his third term, number three. Tumbles to the ground. Very, very clever player, Ken Sheldon. A wonderful service to Carlton, and of course he's the other small man, Marku. Marku and Sheldon are the chief possession getters for St Kilda for this season, so they've given good service in their new adopted home. Winmar again, lovely hand pass, Owen has been so dangerous, he's kicked four, shoots for his fifth and kicks it very long and very well. What a wonderful effort by this young man right on, but just misses, I thought. But the goal umpire really tricked me that time, I thought he'd stay there and watch it go over his head. But that was not a goal, and I think that lady's just as disappointed as Rod Owen. Must be getting cold out there. Yeah, the conditions aren't easy now, Tim. McCann, Mossop and Lowe. Schimmelbush tunnels the kick. 
Oh, that was a tough one. And down goes Rice. But gets up with great toughness. Sean Smith just lands it inside the line for a throw-in. On North's half-forward flank. My word, didn't Rice pay for having the courage to stand his ground? A beautiful bump it was by Matty Larkin too, who you wouldn't expect to be handing them out that way, but he's built low to the ground, and they're the ones who hurt you. Oh, good leap, McDonald over the top of Lowe. Follows on, does McDonald cleverly to Larkin. Larkin hooks it back, and here's a chance. Oh, what a splendid mark by Fairley. What a brilliant player was Larkin. He's here, there, and everywhere, and if ever there's a case of the ubiquitous one, that was it. He bumped very heavily and floored Rice. Then he got the hand pass from McDonald, hooked it very cleverly, but a splendid mark by Fairley, who puts it through. And North Melbourne answering every challenge. Ian Fairley's kicked two goals. And there's the scoreboard, 14-11 to 11-10, 95-76. And I think McDonald's made a different since he's been on the ground. Yes, he's he's uh, a couple of good grabs, hasn't he? He has, and he kicked that long goal, and he's a pretty lively customer, whether he's in the ruck or on the forward line. He hurts, doesn't he? He does, yeah, he's always competing. So North kicking their sixth goal for the quarter. Saints got three early to grab the lead, but uh, North showing their stuff now. McCann, the thump, gives them possession. Crocker, Allison, Arsiri, good move this. Steele from inside 50. Fairly again. McDonald it is, almost held it. Winmar back in defence. And a throw in. North deep in attack. Mounted a lovely offensive then. Just failing to bear fruit, although McDonald was so close to grabbing that mark. Lockett's been moved to centre half forward, and Wow Jones has gone to full forward. Desperation moves. Chance there for German. German hooks it up, hooks it high, but off direction through for one behind. Well, that's an unaccustomed spot for Wow Jones to find himself at full forward. His opponent is John Law, and Steve McCann has followed Lockett out to centre half forward. Crawley, pass as well. Grant well spoiled though by Sean Smith. Winmar having a big quarter. Oh, well played. A oh, word, he's got some skill. Brilliant. And gives the Saints a show here. Owen, four to the centre now. Five goals to his credit. Had time to steady but didn't kick well. Made it easy for the defence. Schimmelbush. And North out of trouble. Long out of trouble. Larkin again. That's the way to deliver the ball. With penetration. Finding Holt on the wing. Leads a plenty. One from McDonald. But oh, low. Fine mark in front. Big strong one. Low being moved from centre half forward after being beaten by a great effort by John Law. Kicks it short and then comes uh, Allison. Didn't do it all that well actually. The back it comes to Brett Allison. Kicks a left foot and fairly up. And fairly could have been played that one. Play on says the umpire. And it's out of danger. Out of danger short term is it now. It's going to bounce over the line out of bounds. North Melbourne players were closest to it in Brett Allison and Peter German. It will be thrown in the half forward field. Did it cross the line? Maybe the whole ball didn't cross the line. <laughs> it's a technical one, isn't it? Maybe so. 96 plays 76. North by 20 points. Mossop relishing the fact that Wow Jones is off the ball. Allison. Fairly in front. McConville with the big spoil. Throw in. Half forward flank. North Melbourne, though, in control again, it seems, after some rocky moments, perhaps a lapse in con concentration. It certainly seems a great waste. Here comes Phil Cracker, lost the run of it. It was going to say a waste of Wow Jones is not on the ball. Picked up by their Sheldon. Straight out, Mossop should have held that one. Pursued by Winmar. Out to win a Schimmelbush. Oh, you could be penalised for that one, Captain Courageous. Yes, he's uh, paid the free kick to St Kilda. I'm sure, no, he's no, caught, he it. caught a throw-in, no, sorry. He should have, he didn't. I thought Shimmer may have been unbalanced and uh, the ball just went in that direction accidentally. I'm not as sure as you fellows. Corkamelis finds Lockett. Forward of the centre line, but not quite at half-forward. Owen again, 
Ball getting a bit slippery. Ball up. And three-quarter time. North Melbourne's quarter after losing the lead and really looking as if they were on the knife edge. The Roos have steadied. They finished with 6-3 for the term. St Kilda kicking 3-5. The margin 20 points. The major goal kickers for North Melbourne are Siri with three and for St Kilda, Owen with four. At three-quarter time, North 14-12-96. St Kilda 11-10-76. And the Kangaroos in the blue and white stripes will go into the last term with a 20-point advantage. Start of the last quarter. North Melbourne leading by 20 points. 27 minutes gone. At the first bounce of the last term. And John Mossop, who once again has Wow Jones against him, kicks to half forward McConville. Lovely judgment. Knows when to go for the mark and when to go for the spoil. And once again has been a fine player in the St Kilda defence. Eight marks for the night. Law sliding off the side of the boot. Steele, the fist on. Law once more. McConville again from behind fairly, this time spoiling. Arsiri just scores it behind. He kicked three goals early in the match. Hasn't been able to add to that tally. But North Melbourne in front by 21 points. And at the moment looking fairly safe, but obviously plenty of time yet. Mossop and Jones, Mossop punches, Larkin, 22nd possession, out to Steele, got time, good pass it is too, and Fairley's got to keep, just got to keep running, and down to John Holt, it'll be alright, just in time, <laughs> and John Holt, who kicks beautifully, is about 40 metres from goal, but a very acute angle, been at the club since about 1981 or 82, so he's taken a while to get those games up. That is truly, what's the classical left foot kicking style? There he goes, just hit the, just hit the post. Well, he was on a pretty acute angle, so it wasn't a bad effort. It was bad luck for North Melbourne and for Holt. I don't think that's uh, the Parliament of Tasmania calling. I think Doc's issuing some fairly forceful instructions. Big leap Coglin, fine player tonight. Carbone supports him at ground level. Kilda with the numbers here. Sheldon first there. Ross Smith though meets him. And forces a throw in and earns applause. He had two coming at him, Winmar and Sheldon, both full of skill. But uh, Smith dogged enough to uh, force a draw. He's made some pace. Well played Jones again, but Dwyer very, very quick to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush high and long downfield. Oh, almost a good one, almost a one-hander. McDonald clever to Jim Cracker. Jim beats the paddock full as he often does, sends it long. Phil and our, Phil Cracker and our Siri were running with the flight of the ball, but it went too long for them. Out of bounds on the full free kick against North Melbourne. Collins. Getting his second chance. Jim Cracker from behind Grant. Marku tackled just at the point of impact on the hand pass, hence loss of direction. Witty. Nixon. Witty. Back to the wing. Crocker in front, well taken. Did it nicely. And delivers equally well to Larkin. Big possession winner for North Melbourne. 23 now. Shocking delivery though. Grant spilling a sitter. Game of errors at the moment. Coglin, Nixon. Scramble kick that finds Marku. To the centre line. Low, well spoiled by Law. Well done, Allison. Schimmelbush and a nice shepherd from Law. Shimmer to half forward. Bounce beat everybody except uh, Jobling dashing out of defence. Smith. Allison helps it on. Paul Law, full of vigour and determination, and Allison puts North into attack. Bill Cracker. Dodges cleverly around his opponent, Winmar. Then kicks it beautifully, as he always does. Like a bullet on the chest of Fairley. Fairley tries to find McDonald around the centre-half forward region. 
Matty Larkin's out there wide, but Nixon's with him. This will be interesting. Larkin's got electrifying speed. Down he goes. Gets a lucky bounce and on he comes again, but Cogman helps Nixon out. He's tackled, tackled by Arcieri across to Sheldon. Sheldon then sends it down to full forward, or set a half forward zone. Massa punches down. Schimmelbush comes across and nice play. Rice kicks the goal and kicks badly. Did it well, but really kicked very, very badly. And St Kilda needed that one, needed that goal particularly badly. 98 to 77. Schimmelbush to McCann. That was an amazing kick, Bernie. Yes, he did all the hard work, Tim, but uh, he really let himself down with that poor kick for goal. North playing the short game in defence. Holt, he won't. And a lovely long kick. This one falls short. Straight to Corkamilis. Oh, was it a throw? Sheldon to full forward. Lock it. Yes, well taken with outstretched hands. Dying to see a replay of the Corkamilis hand pass as Lockett can line up for his fourth goal and a chance to uh, cut the margin. There's the mark. Maybe we'll see uh, the lead up after the shot by Lockett if he kicks a goal. And for St Kilda's sake, let's hope he does because they need it desperately. They're down by 19 points. And the full forward gets number four and keeps St Kilda in the ball game. The margin back to 13 points on the scoreboard which says 12 12 84 and it says north melbourne 14 13 97 so we have a slight discrepancy there we'll sort that out in a moment but let's just have a look at that lead up as here's holt's kick corkamelis was the man who took the ball and my word he got it off in a hurry oh there's a throw <laughs> you're right tim definitely a throw and a fine mark by lock jones Downfield from Sheldon, all lucky one straight to Lowe. Lowe is a very bad hand pass, but Nixon's got time to shoot for goal. Underneath it, Lockett again almost took a good one. Very, very strong play by McCann, and the ball's bucketed there through for one behind. But well played, Stephen McCann. Yeah, well done, Steve McCann. Was it a push? Low, a big leap, taken by Law. Kicks to the wing and beyond. German, big possession getter, doesn't win a possession there. And a throw in coming up. And suddenly there's a feeling of contest about it again. North kicking away to that 20 point lead, look to be just about safe. But the Saints don't uh, intend giving this one away without a fight. German, to half forward. Jobling, nice to Whitty. Dangerous but nice for the centre. Nothing there. Law, Phil Cracker, Dwyer, Law, Long to full forward. McDonald. It might bounce all the way. Jim Cracker. That's the steady of the North Melbourne. And the Kangaroos. Again, three goals plus in front. Jimmy Cracker's second goal. Phil has also kicked two. And while they've been quiet, they've still made a contribution. Yes, they're uh, ever dangerous, Tim. You can't let them out of your sight for one moment because uh, that's just what can happen. Bernie, yeah. I guess if you play against Crawley, it's always a struggle and a push and a shove. Well, there, yeah, I've been watching Crawley very closely. and He always seems to be hanging onto the Guernsey, yeah. and that's what he always did with me, yeah. nudging at the right moment. Yeah. One of the old-fashioned men full back. John Law has played a super game. Our theory underneath it. But John Law, not physically equipped for centre-half back. Got all the strength and the courage, but not tall enough. But he's really cut low to pieces. Low's been moved. And our theory now shoots for goal. A great kick. He just missed. A particularly good performance. I emphasise again from John Law because we saw him cut to pieces here a few weeks ago but he's come back with the typical courage that we know he's got Gawley delivers beautifully for Grant to the wing low, well spoiled by Law who's done a sterling job Nixon with Lowe getting in his way that time North Melbourne 
38 centuries against the Saints. And they've kicked one tonight. Currently on 105 to 84. 21 points for the good. Jones, manful effort in the ruck. Nixon, Sheldon. Nixon gets a free kick to a push in the back. On the wing. Schimmelbush, even though he had to run at it, not trying to mark. Was that a push? No, it wasn't. Sheldon off the ground, and that's out on the full. Schimmelbush to take it at half-back flank for North Melbourne. In front of the signs advertising his club's chairman, chairman's product. 16th possession for Wayne Schimmelbush. 10 minute mark of the final term. Fairly's the target in front. A lovely leap by Sean Smith again. Oh, graceful stuff out to Johnny Holt. Beautiful look, now the pass is too long. A strong play jobbling. McConville runs into a teammate but gets out of it very well. Left foots it down, Fairly. It's all some Kilda there. And down goes Russ. Russ, or Rice it is. He missed that goal just a few moments ago. Out wide looking for Lowe. Oh, clever play, Allison. Bad luck and awkward bounce. They've still got chance through Dwyer. Out to Allison, got the run across to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker can have a shot for goal. There's nobody at home, but they make up pace. And lovely running that time there by Jobling. And it's pushed through for one behind. Good kick from Cracker. He was almost 50 metres out. Hard to work out where he gets the distance from with that action. Nixon brought down. No free kick. Larkin. Goal. Just clipped the inside of the post. He deserves a goal. He's been a great performer all night. His second poster. North by 23 points. And again, they look as if they're just about home. But uh, every time they've looked that way, the Saints have hit back. Steele. Oh, cleverly done. Phil to Jimmy to Phil. Oh, I wonder if that's the umpire on the scene when Corkamikos <laughs> cheated that little one a little earlier. Oh, that was an important throw, that one. <laughs> it was a good decision by the umpire. Maybe we're going to have a look when we get a moment. We'll just uh, follow play until it stops. And Coughlin is there. Allison, a lot against him, but a very slick hand pass to Schimmelbush. Oh, look, alone and unattended again, Mr. Philip Cracker. And there's brother James out wide. He fumbles for once, about once a season as they do that. And another bad fumble by Dwyer. Back to Jim Cracker. Hooks it back down in the McDonald Fairley direction. And Fairley almost took a good one in front. Coming through strongly as Lamb. And again, Phil Cracker out to German. And German kicks it through for one behind. OK, it let's just have a look at that throw as called by the umpire. There's Jimmy taking possession. Now that was called a throw. My word, that was a harsh decision. Looked a little bit like a scoop for me, Tim. You're a tough man, a hard man, <laughs> Bernie Quinlan. John Law, who is also a hard and tough man, and he's played like it tonight. Witty for St Kilda. Works it forward to Coglin. Jobling. Carbone. Coglin. Sheldon. Here go the Saints. To half forward. Corker Mealis running dangerously. So is Lockett. Coughlin again, inside 50 metres. He's done all the hard work and he taps it up with a goal. Well done, Frank Coughlin. A tremendous goal for St Kilda tonight. And he keeps them alive in this match at the 13-minute mark of the last quarter. He's had 23 possessions, gets his first goal, and my word, he deserved that. Well, he comes from Bendigo too, for example, and that's always been Carlton's line, hasn't he? Good player, this Coughlin. That's right, but now they can pluck them from anywhere. And and he's been a really good pickup for St Kilda. Good pass at Lockett. Yes, he's moved, moves well on the forward line, Lockett. Always uh, creating space. Jones. Lockett. Carbon. Carbon. Nice play, Allison. Very good. Then caught, but still gets out of danger. Look out, Jimmy Cracker beats the paddock ball. Steadies and boots it down to half forward flank. And they score another dunk spoil each other. Whitty and McConville were both going for it, but Whitty takes the mark on the second bike. Steady's now. Out looking for Nixon. Nixon's too tall for Phil Cracker, but he's tackled and pushed. 
and the free kick will go to Ricky Nixon. And the Saints raising another effort. 108 to 90. Well done, Jim Cracker. But Sheldon recovers well. And hits Crawley up in attack, of all people. The skipper up there to give them some bite up forward. And he's having a shot. He thinks he can do it from 50 metres. And this will be a captain's goal if he can. 14 and a half minutes gone in the last quarter. He ignores Lockett's lead. He kicks long. He kicks straight. And the Saints are within two goals at the halfway mark of the last term. And that's a captain's goal if ever you saw one. Danny Frawley, full back all night, kicks the ninth goal of his VFL career. Um, that's uh, just what they can do with Danny Crawley. He's held the full forward, whoever's been there for North Melbourne, goalless all night. And all of a sudden he pops up at centre-half forward. He gets a beautiful goal from 50 metres out. Back at centre bounce. The crowd's come alive. 7, 16 odd thousand of them. Jim Cracker boosts him into attack with a prodigious one. 65 metres downfield. An awkward bounce favours McDonald. Open goal out to Arcieri. Bang, through it goes. Arcieri fourth. Three in the first term. And one in this final one. And James Cracker, Esquire, is the man who got it downfield. A very lucky bounce gave Donald McDonald the chance. Here it comes. There's McDonald. Probably a bit lucky. The St Kilda player was off balance. But Arcieri, over to Arcieri his fourth goal and that's a steadier that the north side needed. McDonald was intelligent with the hand pass, good luck to him. And I like Jimmy Cracker out of the centre then too. When the chips were down a bit for North Melbourne, he was the player with just that spark of genius, winning the ball out of the centre, set up the immediate response and North three goal leaders once again. 16 minutes gone, still time for the Saints, but they've got that edge in class to try and bridge. Marku, jobbling, Rice, the half forward, big climb Winmar, but uh, hopelessly positioned always. Smith, hurriedly. Steele, well played North. They're in numbers. Holt, Larkin, and the Kangaroos mount the attack. Not good delivery that time from Larkin. Throw in North Melbourne's half forward flank. Almost 17 minutes down last turn, North by 18 points. Larkin was looking for a lead to be given by Jim Cracker, number three there, and Carbone beside him kicked with him all the way. And Larkin just really had nothing to kick to, finally. Nice play that time by Fairley. Quick out to Larkin. Larkin shoots for goal. He is a magnificent player. Best and fairest winner for them. That's his second, and really been a match-winning player once again. His 27th possession, and Matthew Larkin rarely wasted a possession. Yeah, over to Larkin. He's been magnificent all night, Larkin. And uh, I think that's a sealer for the North Melbourne side. I'm with you, Bernie. Four goals the margin. And well, the Saints have never stopped trying from the 17 and a half minute mark. Could not see them pegging that back. Three goals each in this last term. North started at 20 points in front. They're now 24 points up. Jones tiring. Dwyer puts North into attack again. Relay free kick. Sean Smith. My word, he's a promising looking player. 17 years of age from Canberra. Nothing there for him. He didn't place that too well. And Witte at centre half back. Or will be now with the 15 metre penalty. Kicks to the centre. North have the numbers. Crawley. Corkamilis. Long to Lockett, out of position. Brash, Lockett playing dominoes with them. Banged one into the other. And Ross Smith was the first domino. And he takes the free kick and finds Steele. Right on the boundary line. And that's good football at this stage of the match. They've got the lead of the Northerners. Ooh, could have been a free kick to McConville. That time picked up by Mark Key. Short. Or oh, lost it, lost it badly. And over the line it goes. Hoglund just... Hoglund took one across the face. I think he fell on uh, the boot of steel, but it was pretty tough. Stop up the nose, but nothing to worry about. <laughs> Only a broken arm, yeah. McDonald beats Jones, who really has uh, stopped to a walk, and who could blame him? Lion-hearted early. Sheldon. 
and McConville. Oh, McDonald crash into Peter McConville. Winmar. McDonald the knock on. Lamb. Now Larkin. North dangerous again. Well weaved by Larkin. Well placed. Jim Cracker. Ran under it. Carbone. Out to half back. Jobling. Just behind the wing. Crawley. The defender come forward. Lockett pushing and shoving. Well done, McCann. Steele. Well tackled by Lockett. He took a long time. Allison, very quick hand pass to Crocker. Crocker puts it out in front of Phil Cracker. Can he get there in time? Yes, he can. Just keeps it in. And now North mount the attack. Lovely pass, Phil Cracker. Dwyer on the centre line. Dwyer, very long hand pass. Steve McCann, half forward flank. The full back kicks and it hugs the boundary line and eventually goes out of bounds right beside the front post. No well, surprise to see Stephen McCann right down there. But again, Phil Cracker showing some lovely form there, although he's been a pretty quiet player. Running for hand passes, I think, was McCann, which would please his coach. He's on his way back down to full back, but he just kept on coming. Phil Cracker. Alex Marcou. Back towards the wing. And a bit of courage there from Coglin. Now it's Rice. The other ginger top. Centres for Crawley. Ooh. Oh, McDonald. Copped it then and copped it again. My word. That could have really put the lights out for him. That was the evener up. Oh, Danny Crawley. Look at it right through. Oh. Gee, I don't think he collected him properly, but if he had it, Donald wouldn't have been getting up taking his kick. He would have been up here in our commentary box with us, I think. Good kick by McDonald too. He's been very courageous. From Crawley's hands it goes. Ah, Siri across. Lovely play, fairly. And it's to the danger man, Larkin. Larkin hooks it high. Running with the flight of the ball. I thought he might have had a chance to give it to Moffat, but he couldn't, and he kicked it out of bounds. 21 and a half minutes gone. Marcou. Oh, well taken. And the ball's got to come back. Coglin thinking that he could be allowed to run on, but as I explained earlier in the night, if it's a mark, as it was then to David Grant, the ball must come back. Advantage can only be applied by the umpire after a free kick. I'm glad you explained that to me, Tim. I didn't realise that until tonight. Grant kicks beyond the centre. Oh, and they're really being handed out thick and fast at the moment. Crocker, under pressure, and rode out the storm well, but kicked badly. Wow, Jones, fumbling. Cracker, Arsiri, but well taken in defence for the Saints by Lowe, who's down at full back, but kicks it straight to Lark, and a huge possession winner and a fine player. Yes, I think he's clearly best on the ground at this stage. Out to Jim Cracker. <coughs> Very, very good player, Matthew Larkin. From the first time he appeared on the football ground just about three years ago, he's looked a star. Had an injury studded season last year. This is Peter McConville. It was best and fairest the year before, and only his second season. A bit late to see there, James Cracker. The mark taken by Alex Marcou. Marcou has striven valiantly all night. Here comes Danny Crawley late on the scene again. Behind us, taken by Law, number 13. Very high in the air to centre wing position. Whitty goes up and he's outmarked by Sean Smith. What a beauty. He's a beautiful mark, this youngster. Does it so effortlessly. Out wide it goes, looking there, and Nixon takes a good one over our series. About set a half back. Still the margin four goals. Jamie Stevenson preparing to come into the battle for North. Nixon. North Melbourne holding St Kilda at bay at the moment. The Saints desperately trying to mount a late challenge. Oh, they're looking weary. He's got the cramp. Yes, in the Nixon. thigh too by the look of it, which in the hamstring, they really hurt. They're a bit harder to get rid of than the ones in the car. 24 minutes gone, final turn. North by 24 points. Nixon in agony. Play restarts. Jones, Winmar. Collins and now jobbling from four to the centre and a lovely pass to Lockett. 
He'll kick from 50 metres. Doesn't shoot because he's got a man in great position. Oh, Sinner dropped by Coglin. He ought to kick a goal here to make up for it. But he hasn't and won't make the distance. Corkamilis. McCann. Lockett lumbering. Good paddle. Owen. But they're too tired. Jobling. Good player for St Kilda. That's a good pass. And Coglin this time. And again, he fails to hold on to the chest mark. Spiro with the chance. Good shot. Couldn't quite get enough hook on it. And North still by 23 points. And we're almost in time on it. Well, there's a bundle of opportunities that time for St Kilda. Most of them feature around Coglin, who's been a wonderful contester. Now to Don McDonald. Up he goes. Almost took a good strong one. Plays on him. Full of courage as McDonald. Full of fire and aggression and kicks it into the crowd, which wasn't very clever. It will be obviously a free kick, of course, to St Kilda. But McDonald added a lot of fire to this North Melbourne side when he came on and went on the ball. Witty on the wing. Brawley, Mark Hu, who's had a pretty good match. McCann, though, out in front of Lockett. Could have marked. Down goes Lamb, pushed in the back and gets a free kick and from about 40 metres should kick the Saints 15 but I think it might well be a case of too little too late we're at the 26 minute mark of the last turn testing shot slippery ball now distance is possibly there no just touch and so still it's north by 22 points. In fact, it was Rice, not Lamb. And the Kangaroos are just about home. Short, McDonald takes the mark, takes time, gained about 12 and a half metres. Then he kicks it high and long downfield. Trocker's in front. Well played, Trocker. Look out to court, but still did it brilliant. Did Dwyer. Dwyer's about centre wing. Long hand pass to Schimmelbush is dangerous. Back to Dwyer. Dwyer wide. This is a beauty. And German cleverly across to Jim Cracker. Or it's Phil. This time it's Jim. And Jim kicks for goal. And James has missed it. Well, really, that was a brilliant exchange of hand passes when you look at it in retrospect. And the opportunity badly lost by Jim Cracker, their best and fairest of last season. 27 minutes gone. Maybe three minutes left in the match. Lamb versus Larkin. Sheldon is one of those clever little kicks again with the outstep. Nixon, good looking pass, didn't quite carry. Crawley inside to Coglin. Good tackle, Phil Cracker. Crawley, great pressure from North. And I mean great in the sense that it was very good. And a ball up between the centre centre half forward for St Kilda super tackle by James Cracker and then a good one by John Law John Law has been one of the heroes of tonight Jones down to Sheldon Crocker running with the flight of the ball awkward run bad luck Owen his opponent but eventually does get it. then he's very well tackled Crocker scoops it in drives down looking for Sean Smith and this time he's outmarked by David Grant his new opponent but a fine game of football by Sean Smith Grant sends it downfield. Oh, the only one was Kenny Sheldon. He takes the mark. Didn't hold it long enough. Coglin now kicks it out looking for Lockett. Steve McCann goes up with him and spoils him. Lockett fought for it valiantly. Law eventually gets it. Hooks it back along the boundary line. And luckily for him, it bounces over the line out of bounds. Or was it out on the full? It was the free kick to Nixon. From a long way out, outside 50 metres. Good long kick. Lockett. Winmar. Kicks a goal, his fourth, and a good reward for a pretty good performance from Nicky Winmar. Alas, not quite enough for the Saints tonight because they're 17 points down. The last quarter is 29 minutes old. Winmar roving it nicely and a simple snap. Yes, a bit of a gift, he did it well. He hasn't had a lot of possessions. But to kick four goals. He's an adequate night for any half-forward flanker or centre wing where he started, but half-forward flank mostly. 
Dwyer punches it down, kicked off the ground that time by Wiki. Luckily goes to Sean Smith and brilliantly to German. German across, this is danger. No, there's two of them there. Jim Cracker back to German. German is short with a one downfield. It's lovely football. And Jamie Stevenson just on the ground has the pleasure of kicking the easiest of easy goals. And that makes it very certain at the 29 and a half minute mark of the last two. Ross Smith coming from the ground. He was attended by a bevy of trainers a moment ago. But fortunately, he's OK, it would seem. And there's the lead up to that last goal. And they don't come any easier than this for Jamie Stevenson. No opponents and clever play German, clever play Jim Cracker. So North always just with that little bit up their sleeve when it really counted. Rice puts the Saints into attack. Lockett pretty well held by McCann. But even though Lockett's kicked three goals, I'd give the fullback the honours. Out on the full from John Holt. And a free kick going to Rice on the half forward flank. A long way from goal. Sheldon having to fly with the big men. Here's Lockett for number four. On the siren, it will count. It is a goal, and Bernie Quinlan tells me I've missed one, he's kicked five. So perhaps for that last shot, he's taken the honours for the night. But in the overall stakes and what really counts, North Melbourne by 17 points, 18 goals, 19, to St Kilda, 16-14. The major goal kickers for North Melbourne are Serie 4. Two each to Jim Cracker, Phil Cracker, Fairley, Larkin and Demetrio and then a number of single goal kickers so they were well spread among the winners as Ross Smith blooded by the battle but a member of the winning team leaves the ground for St Kilda five to Lockett four each to Winmar and Owen the major contributions for the losers and a quick comment from Bernie Quinlan and it's a good win in the end of North Melbourne they were pressured a lot by St Kilda especially in the second quarter and they really never made it easy for the North Melbourne side to get their running game going. But uh, after half time, uh, when I think it was when Wow Jones went out of the ruck there in that third quarter, that really made things a little bit easier for the North Melbourne side. McDonald came on the ground. He made a difference to their to their rucking, and uh, Larkin got it out of the middle a lot. And their running players really came into their own. But uh, St Kilda weren't disgraced by any means. Lockett finishing up with five goals was a good player. Um, Winmar did a good job on the forward line and really they, they put a lot of pressure on North Melbourne and never made it easy for them all through the evening. So the final scores in the opening match of round five. North Melbourne, 17 point winners, their third win of the season. The Saints still with one win, 18-19-127 to St Kilda, 16-14-110.